All right, they made our gutters and dropped them off this morning. We got two 42 footers there, downspouts, everything we need to get these guys put on. Pretty sweet. The building is coming along so nice. Uh, Julie's got some painting to do. She might be over here today painting a little bit. Uh, we are going to match up that paint for that shipping container door. We're going to be wire brushing it down and getting it painted to match the clay sides. This thing's coming along pretty good. We're going to have a building here not long. Started with some J channel. Now this was a little bit tough. As you can see, I cut that J channel here around the hinge. Uh, the hinges are a little big, but that's what you want for a big door. And we cut that one. So, and then another thing we got done is we got all the gutters on. All right, all the gutters are on. They're all, uh, we had a guy drop off the gutters. He didn't want to put them up, but he was good enough to make them for us and get us the pieces that we needed. And we put them up the other day, which is really nice. So now we got gutters on the garage. That's going to be nice. That's going to hold back a lot of water from on the top up there. So we're going to be digging a pipe. We're going to be digging a ditch from back here all the way across and then down over the hill. And I'll probably throw a horse trough or something down there. So we're going to be getting some goats. And the goats will need a place to drink. So Julie and I are going to work on the metal on the front. We're going to try to get some done before it's time to go home. Um, now, I uh, just got off work. But we're going to try to get some it's done. hot. Yeah, it's very hot. It was 99 in my truck when we come over here. It was 99 degrees. It's a little bit of shade here. So... Yeah, and that shade's going to go away the later we wait, so we need to get on it. All right, we're going to get to work. We'll see what we can get done tonight. All right, we got some of the metal up, as you can see, up around the side there. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I'm not really good at this, but when you put that uh, J-channel around the door, and then you have it up along the eave, how do you actually get that in when it tapers the wrong way? I don't, I don't get that, but I'm going to look that up and see. I know the Amish is going to come and build the, the house, the structure of the house. I'm going to watch him guys when they do it. But it's a, it's hotter than a two-pecker billy goat out here, so we can't get a whole lot done. Uh, I didn't want to say that. That would be a good one. That'd be a good t-shirt, hotter than a two-pecker billy goat. So it is pretty hot out here, so we're doing our best to get what we can done. We got a cold front coming in, which is going to help us out a lot. We're just going to keep working our way across the top here and down the side. Just just the garage part, not the doors. That's looking good. Oh, there's two of them now. It's not zooming in very far. All right, we finally got the rest of the metal on the front. Julie's over there painting. She got a pretty good match on that paint, and it's starting to look really nice with all the metal on there. Uh, last night, we were over here, Julie and I, and we were putting the last two pieces of metal up right above Julie's head there, and it started to storm. Well, so happens I'm standing on an aluminum ladder holding a piece of aluminum and here goes a bolt of lightning over top of the garage or the shop and Julie's yelling at me to get in there and we lost our electric so we're back to using that generator uh, it's been off for how long now Joel almost 24 hours maybe it has been 24 real close to 24 hours it's been off but it's not like we ain't used to using the generator anyhow not going to stop us we're going to keep on going so what i'm doing right now is i'm working on the garage doors the doors over here i'm going to be putting the metal the j channel and the metal on these while she's over here painting so we can get two things done at one time but it sure does look different with a little bit of uh, metal on it 
compared to what it did look like. And when she gets done uh, painting them doors, I think it's going to be a really, really good match. Let's go down here. I'll show you that paint. What brand of paint is that, Joel? It's just Valspar. They Valspar? Don't have any rust -oleum. No rust oleum in this color. And and they she, don't mix colors. And she, yeah, and she wanted to match it up. But, but they said this is a, it's for rust. That's it. Right there's the can. Yeah, anti rust. Yeah, anti rust. And it is a, uh, an oil based. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're putting on it. They said it's pretty good. So. And they said we needed no primer. That's what they said. I'm not crazy about that, but anyhow, I think it's a good match. I think it's really going to be nice. I have been having a little issues with my camera because of the sunlight. I think I should be using some type of filter on this thing when it's really, really bright out here. But Kevin don't know how to work cameras anyhow. I'm just doing the best I can to give you guys a good video. Julie, that's going to look really nice. I think it matches. I was worried about it, but it looks really close. I, I think it really does look good. Yeah. All right. So I got to get to working on these doors. I got to get some done too. All right. We'll see you guys in a bit. When we get a little bit more done, we'll get you back in here. Okay. I got my first piece of metal on the door. I ain't got it screwed on yet, but I have to drill every hole and uh, pre-drill everything before I get it on, you know, get it finished. Now the uh, metal's a little dirty from setting out back from, I think that's sap off trees, it wipes right off, but that's my first one. Uh, I put the track, I put the J channel around uh, the bottom and up, all the way up and across. And then that last piece of J channel, I will put on at the very end. And I'll use the screws for the metal to hold the J channel on. So I had a little rough time up there trying to get that J channel on the, you know, the outside of the building. I don't know how they do it. I, I never was good with the, well, like I said, this kind of stuff is a little hard for me. But we're figuring it out as we go. And I think that looks real good. I tried to get the ribs to line up with the ribs on the, the building. I think it looks nice. See up the top, I got the ribs lining up all the way down. So I'm going to keep going, get this unscrewed on, and work on the next one. Well, last night, Julie and I were down here working on this thing, and uh, we got the first piece put in. But I was having an issue. We were breaking off uh, the screws because the drill bit that I was using was just a little too small. I was using an eighth inch drill bit and it, and it broke it off. So what I've done is I went in there and uh, picked up a little bit, a little size bigger than an eighth. It's a 532nd. And these are the screws that we're using. Now I'm going through that angle iron so it's a little bit uh, rough. You know, I want to make sure they get in there, but without breaking, we broke one off inside. And I couldn't get it out. I'll show you here. And I moved the hole. You can see right here where I, this one here is broke off inside there. But what we'll do is once we screw that back, we'll put a little bit of a, Julie bought some of that caulk, the same color. She'll put a little bit of that over it. Now, like I said, I've been having an issue with the uh, J channel along the bottom, J channel up the side, and across the top. I got J channel up there. And to link these things together, you have to lift it up over top of it. So this panel here, I actually slid it all the way over to the side, linked them together, and then slid it all the way in, which worked out okay. But when you're working by yourself, it's a little bit tough. But the lucky thing is, is we only had two pieces in there. So uh, that one there is not screwed down. I got to get it screwed down. And uh, that side will be done covered. And then we're going to start on this side over here. But we're also going to be building the locks. And I might do a separate video for them locks. So stay tuned and see how this goes today.
Now my very last one, because this J channel hasn't been screwed down, what I do is I drill through the J channel and this piece and I'll put a screw right here. So it's kind of holding them both at the same time. It's been a pain because I gotta drill each one for these metal doors. But it'll work out, just take a little time. So now that's securing my J channel and my metal at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill and screw this whole door and I'm not gonna put you guys through the pain and the agony of watching me do it. So I'll get her done, I'll be right back. Well, uh, while I'm working on the doors, Julie's down here taping it off, uh, the eaves there. Just gonna put a coat of primer on them. I think they've been drying long enough with this heat, as much air and heat we've had. They gotta be pretty dry. They better be because I'm not waiting any longer. <laughs> She's not waiting. No, this girl's a painter. Anybody out there needs a painter, Julie's a painter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a good painter, that's for sure. I don't know about that. Well, I know. Because you won't let me paint. So you must be a lot better than me. I let you paint. You just don't want to do it. Yeah, well, you tell me I'm too sloppy. No, well, that's true. You are. <laughs> don't you like seeing a woman on a ladder with Crocs? Well, I wasn't planning on doing this today, so. <laughs> just ended up being. That's not safe. Crocs. Eh, I'll be all right. I think I thought we ought to find somebody else to paint. <laughs> well, that's why I'll help sturdy up your ladder for you. Yeah. I don't want you falling. Yeah, I don't know. All right. <sighs> when Julie gets some of it painted, we'll come back and we'll see how she's going. I got all that metal screwed on. Um, <laughs> there was 42 holes I had to drill and 42 screws to put in. But... I think it's good. I think it's tight. I don't think we have any problems with that door. That door is sturdy as you would not believe how sturdy that door is. And it's big. Now I'll come in here and I'll cut every one of these little screws off inside there. Because we're going to be putting insulation on that door. That door, I cannot believe how sturdy that door is. It really turned out good. So now all I gotta do is get over here and get this one covered and then we'll start on our locks. Cause we're gonna fabricate some nice locks for this. There'll be two locks on that door there. One will go into the floor and one will go into the ceiling. And that door will be locked, it'll stay locked. Mainly we'll be coming in and out of this door over here. Okay, just to show you how I'm putting these J channel on the metal is I'm just drilling a hole and then putting self-tappers through it. I gotta drill first because these self-tappers will break. So I just drill the holes and screw that right to the, the angle iron. And I did that all the way around up this side and across the top, but I'm not gonna put this piece on yet. This will be my last piece to put on. Uh, we'll put it on last, that way we can slide it in and get the because I, I, I slide the metal from this side and I slide it right over that way. So I'll start on that end and work my way that way on that door. Just wanted to show you how I was doing it. And I had to cut the hinges out too, see? Back in here, they got a weld in there. So I had to cut that little slot. Same way with that side of the hinge here. Had to cut that J channel for that. It's a big old hinge. So we're going to go ahead and get to cutting the metal for this side and get it on there. I'm looking forward to drilling 42 more screw holes. That's uh, 42 screws in the door, not including the, <laughs> the J channel. So we'll get her though. It's going to be done today. We're going to have these doors covered today for sure. Hopefully we can do a video on the locks. Let's get this door covered. All right, Julie's working her way down this side, painting. That looks really nice, Joel. Looks real good. That's hard work, huh? Yeah. 
painting above your head. I don't like that. But it's going to look nice. Once she gets it all primed, she's just using a primer sealer on it now. Once she gets all that done, she'll put a couple coats of paint on it, and then we'll drill them holes up through there and get them vents put in there. Man, it does look good, Joel. Okay, we got our metal in there. That's the toughest part, trying to get it in both pieces so you can slide it all the way across. But I think I did a pretty good job. It's ready to go. I'm not looking forward to the 42 screws I gotta put in it, but hey, we'll get her done. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's get her screwed together. Well, there's a look at our doors from the inside. They're all finished. I think they look pretty daggone good. They're huge. Didn't cost me as much. About $207 for the angle iron. And, well, you figure the metal was $329 a foot. $329 a foot for the outside metal. Okay, that's what they look like closed. I think I got the ribs pretty uh, well lined up. Not bad, considering, you know, it's hard to see them from up here. I got a little brick air holding them closed. But I think they work pretty good here. Let me get you guys to sit down here. I'll open them and close them. Now, there'll be a handle on the outside. One big door. And here's your other big door. Now I'm going to put a chain on them. That's going to be on the next couple videos. 
I'll probably have a lock to where I can lock them open and I can lock them closed because we don't want the wind catching them and blowing them off because the wind probably could do some pretty good damage to these doors. So that is my uh, doors, my barn style doors. I think they turned out pretty good. And I would like to tell everybody, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.